Hello! Hello, what was that? I don't know guys. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It is Amanda. Today is another day of Vlogmas, which is so much work. And every year I'm like, why did I sign up for this? I mean, I could just quit, but you know, I'm not a quitter. Today we're going to talk about the polishes that I wore in November. I did slightly better than I did in October. <laughs> not much, but a little better. So I'm just going to show you some swatches of the polishes that I wore as manicures in the month of November. And that is the entire concept of the video. Well, let's get to it. The first polish is a polish pickup polish from July 2021, which is Rewind Month. And this is from Bluebird Lacquer. This is called the Ryan King 2.0. And this is based, this is inspired by a picture of Ryan Gosling wearing like a green velvet suit, which Honestly, it looks super cozy. Holy moly. <laughs> this polish is absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad that I bought this one. I missed out on the first time because I thought, I have too many green polishes. I don't need this. No, I did need it. It's absolutely beautiful. It has a completely flawless formula. It's super close to being opaque in one coat. Oh my, if you have this, you're so lucky because it is beautiful. The next polish is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes and uh, this is China Glaze Riveting. This is from the Hunger Games collection. Can you guys see this fill line? <laughs> That's right, if you tap a polish, that is amazing. This polish is wonderful. It's two coats. I, I can find no wrong with this polish. I love how fiery this looks. I know that's in its intention, but it truly looks like it's fire and smoldery and ember. It's just absolutely beautiful and that's riveting. Next I have another from China Glaze. This is from the Jewels Royale collection and this is called 24 Karat Noir. This is an absolutely gorgeous blackened greenish gold shimmer. I set out to just swatch this and then I said, oh no, the rest of these swatches are going to have to wait. I am wearing this. It is a beautiful two coat formula. I purchased my China Glaze holiday collection from polishpick.com, but you can get it pretty much everywhere now. I think everywhere that sells China Glaze. Absolutely beautiful, glowy, shimmery, just gorgeous greenish green gold polish. It will leave shimmer particles all over your nails when you remove it. It's okay. And then the last polish from China Glaze that I wore is the other, it's another polish from the Jewels Royale collection. This is called Emerald Magic. This is another two coat polish, but it's a dark emerald green shimmer. There's like a reddish shift in this shimmer somehow. It's not super evident on the nail, but I'm looking at it in the bottle and I don't know how to get that on my nail because that's really pretty. Also, I did not take my nail polish off. That's majorly chipped. Please don't judge me. I just had time to film, not do anything else. This is also another two coat polish. I really liked the Jules Royale collection. I thought it was, I mean, those are like my kinds of colors. I love jewel tone colors and greens oh, and you know shockingly I wore both greens <laughs> this month uh, just a beautiful shimmery green polish it looks a little magical I had ordered some Neotopia polishes from Ulta which is always an adventure because as you know I love Ulta but they ship things like what's going on in your shipping department I ordered, I think, five nail polishes, and they were all just thrown in a bubble mailer, and it is a miracle that only one of them was completely smashed. This was not that polish, but this is called Smoky Road, and it's a purpley, taupey gray. I bought this because I thought it would be really close to the Sephora by OPI Metro Chic color. Do you guys remember that color? I love that color. I have it somewhere. Hold on. I thought they would be... I thought they would be close. I bought this online without like trying to get rid of this. This is obviously cooler and lighter 
I still love this color. I think that this is such a nice wintry color. It's perfect for glitter bases. I, I personally don't feel the need for a palette cleanser because I love obnoxious colors. I'm not ever like, I need something simple. <laughs> but, but I do like a gray cream nail polish. And I have spoken so highly of the Nailtopia brand since I've tried it. I really enjoy the formulas. This was a two coat cream polish. I just, I think that they're a really nice, a really nice brand. These, I think this one was $5. I don't know if this is being discontinued or if some of the colors were just on sale for some reason and some weren't. But I purchased a bunch that were $5. I have since purchased a few more. I really enjoy the Nailtopia brand. If you guys haven't tried it, I would recommend it. I have one more from Neotopia. This is called Ride the Wave, and this is a really pretty blurple shimmer. It, it's not a shimmer, it looks pearly. Not frosty, but it's that shimmer that's not like visible shimmer, but it looks glowy. So pretty. I received several compliments while wearing this because it's kind of a striking color. It definitely looks more blue than blurple on my nails, but I can see the blurple in the bottle. It's real pretty. And then this was another $5 polish that I purchased. Um, but again, it's a two coat formula. Beautiful, beautiful polishes. You guys need to try Nailtopia. I think I'm like sponsored by them. I'm not. I just like the brand. And then lastly, we have this sh that I'm wearing on my nails that is chipped to goodness. <laughs> but that's not the fault of the polish. That's just me picking up my nails. This is from Studio M, which you can only purchase at Meyer. so if you don't live near Meyer, I'm so sorry for you for multiple reasons, but this is called Constellation Queen. They have some holographic polishes now, and this is beautiful. It is a two-coat royal purple holographic polish. I have two more back there. I, lo I haven't worn those yet, but I love this. It's beautiful like so beautiful. I think this was six dollars. And that is what I wore in November. Seven polishes, which you know, I think I wore six in October. So not great, but like a little better. You know? Let me know what you guys wore in November. Did you do any festive manicures for Thanksgiving or fall or anything? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Come back tomorrow for Vlogmas, and I will see you tomorrow.